Hello everyone, welcome to Scorpion Venom Studio Games. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. In this video, I will be showing you a website that I came across. It's called artstation.com. For some of you, I might be familiar with this. And for those who are not, I would recommend watching this video and learning something new about this website. If you go to your URL and type in artstation.com, it will take you to this website. And here you can go to their front page that shows you the library of different cool stuff. But if you were to go to their marketplace, you will see that you have different categories starting from browse all to tutorials, brushes, 3D assets, textures, materials, references, artworks and photos, tools, HDR images, game assets, ebooks and comics, and other. And you can go to different stuff where it says trending, best selling, free, and latest. So if you go to free stuff, it will give you over 1,101 different results. And it, it includes different textures, different uh, brushes, different actual materials and models. Depending on what you're looking for, you can find here quite a lot of stuff. So here's a good example that I personally will be using. And it's a Lamborghini Centenario. It's a 3D model that was featured by Jacob Przybylewski. Przybylewski, yes. And it says the seller has created their own and user license. So you got to make sure that you read through their licenses and things like that and look for what uh, 3D program software you can use it with and for. So just look through the, some of the stuff, pretty cool uh, collection of uh, different three models, textures, like I've mentioned before, different weapons. So could be used and utilized for your own game. Just uh, read through their licenses. Some of them have sp particular rules you have to follow. So, but it does give you a big variation of content that you can use and, you know, save it in your bookmark. So that way you can go back and explore and find different stuff. Here is a good one. It says free shotgun in Remington. And it's good for Unity on a real engine. So things like this, you know, keep in mind that it, stuff is out there that you can try out and utilize and use. Another one is Beretta M9. Also is good for Unreal Engine and Unity. So there's a lot of different projects that other individuals are giving out. Here are some rocks. I would like to see something like this being added to my island, even though I already have different rocks, but the more variation I have, the better. And again, I got to make sure all this stuff works. But again, uh, there is a lot of different cool things that you can download and use it for your own personal uses, movies, scenes, uh, animations, game projects, or even for your personal small projects, like school related stuff. Here you have some f photo, um, references so like let's say if you're making a movie scene you can use these references and you know use photoshop or whatnot and after effects to use some of these really high-end quality textures and pictures to use it for whatever purposes there's another detail of gun so there's quite a lot of stuff that i found that i would personally would like to use for my game there is some chariots uh, there was one that was actually egyptian style it was pretty cool too i might add that uh, so there's quite a lot of different different projects that, you know, they're not really related to each other, but here's a really cool one, Egyptian War Chariot, something like this I can probably add to my Egyptian pyramids in the future, and then make it a little bit more decay. So I would definitely recommend going through it. You never know what you can find here, some free grenades. <laughs> And uh, just when you look at these, make sure you read them first because some of the stuff you would think, oh, it's a 3D model, but it's actually just a texture or a picture. So depending on what it might be, uh, you know, you, you might want to go through not uh, the free content, but what you would probably want to do is if you'd want to go to game assets and then click free. So that way you know it's all game related. You can do it that way. And this one brought it down to 94 items. So now we know that these could be used specifically for the game. And again, there's still quite a lot of stuff that can be used. Uh, the material 
over 100 PBR textures sets. Let's just look at them real quick and see what they are. Uh, it looks like there's some rugs, uh, different wood patterns, uh, different tiles, and quite a lot of different rocks, formations. Pretty cool stuff. I actually would definitely would want to use something like this in the future because I know some Quixel Mixer doesn't have some of this stuff. So there is a low poly 3D models as well that you can use. Now I know this is under game assets, but you can also do 3D assets. And this one right here is just like, you know, ZBrush related projects. And there's over 12,000 of them. Well, this is for its training, but if you go for free products, there's over 325 different results. And there is one that's called, uh, actually, if you've been watching some of my videos, Kid Bash related sci-fi buildings. This one is called Volume 1. Uh, I'm not sure if this is actually straight from Kid Bash, but here's a kid that has been created by this individual. And again, they're not really buildings, but something futuristic if you're creating a movie scene or something like that could be probably used. Pretty cool stuff, uh, you know, not going to deny that there's a lot of work that's been put into some of this stuff. And the best part about it, it's free. So here is another uh, sofa er area escape. I think this is like more of a, a scenery and it's a SketchUp. So this something like that could be used with Unreal Engine uh, as well. I think the new program that they just came out with. Let me see if I can pull that up for you guys. The Twin Motion, I would definitely recommend looking at that. It's a, a new tool that they've released, or a, like a plugin that is used with the Sketchfab. It's a plugin, and it has different tutorials. You can watch pretty cool stuff, actually. So this is something maybe I'll be covering in the future as well. But you can use some of the stuff using that Twin Motion tool, initializing all the stuff that's related to Sketchfab as well because they're connected together. And here's some Junkier Classic IFX build package. I'm not 100% sure what it would be used for, but here is some of the interesting stuff that they list here. And this is for uh, 30 assets as well, using the Sketchfab. And I wonder if it can be used in Unreal Engine itself. You know, something that can be tested and checked. Here's some characters, different, you know, animal creatures and things like that so i like this one right here it says piece in green 3d mesh asset something like this could be probably added to the island it could be used like as a a location where you have to put maybe some stones in there or something and activate different locations or maybe read some information and you know get some sort of stuff out of it i'm not sure well the chinese chess you know that could be probably be used for in the game too, I know it says Chinese, not Japanese, but anybody who's like into that stuff maybe can create something related to that. So there's a lot of cool stuff that's already been created and done by other individuals and definitely recommend using that for your own advantages. Here we go, we have, uh, this is another a board game, maybe you know it can add this to the game as well. Bag among 3D model. You can even download that and create your own video game out of that. You have some Highland Texture Terrain. So there's a lot of different cool stuff that a lot of people post. I'm not sure how often they post this, but again, if you go to Trending, you'll see that there is more to it than what you see here, since it's only free stuff. Now, if you go to a Game Game Assets and Trending, and again, if you're, of course, into brushes, tutorials, and things like that, you can actually buy some lessons and stuff as well. But there is a lot of good stuff here. Uh, some of the stuff is highly priced. Some of them are not as expensive. But the library is huge. And definitely worth checking out and saving it in your bookmark just in case you ever need to go here and buy something or use. And if we go to tutorials... There's different type of tutorials you can watch on how to do certain things for a couple bucks here and there. Some of them are almost a hundred. So depending on the information that I guess you buy, I wonder if there's any free stuff. Yeah, there is some free stuff as well. And teaches you on how to do certain things as well. And some of the stuff contains a couple hours 
of good information so it's definitely worth saving if you're into any of the softwares that they use and I believe you can also apply for a job here so it's find your next gig looking for talent and I think there's different companies that you can probably even apply for as an artist too this was, would be my guess so if, let's say if we were to click on I don't know let's go back to the top can't see where this thing going oh there it is so many so if we were to be at Ubisoft and you can look at their job openings as well so pretty cool website where you can actually apply as an artist but no they actually had that here but if anybody not familiar with it definitely check out ArtStation quite a lot of good information here that being said I want to thank everybody for watching my YouTube channel thank you for all the subscriptions don't forget to like the video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe if you're new and click that notification bell button to be notified for every time I upload a new video until next video guys